Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been doing well. Today I have seven new glitters from Magic Gel to share with you, and this is part of a 21 piece glitter collection that they just recently released. So I have seven of the 21 colors to share with you, and Honestly guys, they're all absolutely beautiful. So if you'd like to see more in regards to these and what my thoughts and opinions are, please keep watching. Hey everyone, so I'm back today with some products that were sent to me from Magic Gel to share and review with you guys. So I'm super, super excited. So let's take a look what's inside. So this time they sent me two collections so this looks like seven colors and they seem like they're all glitter colors from their new glitter collection and then I also have the early spring MLAC gel polishes to share with you so today I'll be starting off with the potted glitter gels and then I'll have a separate video for the early spring collection to share with you so again, there are seven of the potted gels that were sent from, sent to me today, and these aren't in their usual numerical order that I would usually get the potted gels in. And the reason for this is because they just came out with 21 reflective glitters. So this is from that collection, and I have seven of the 21 colors to share with you guys today. So I'm really, really excited to give these a try. So the first color from the glitter gels that I will be sharing with you is number 224 and this is pink rose and as always we get like a cute little swatch of what the color will be like inside. Ooh, this is really pretty guys. Like look at how it dances in the light. So the name basically speaks for itself. It's a pink rose glitter. I'm seeing some reflective glitters in here. I'm seeing a little bit of shimmer. This is definitely good. Here we have one coat of pink rose so you can go ahead and leave it at one coat or you can build it up I really want to build it up to see what it is going to look like so I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a cure and come back in with a second coat and here we have pink rose in three coats as you can see, it is really nice and opaque. I could have stopped at two coats, but I really wanted to see what I could get it to look like in three, and I'm so impressed with the coverage with three coats. You could also leave it just like this, or you could put this glitter over maybe a color that's similar to it, so you could only need to use like one or two coats. It's really up to you, but I love that these, these glitters can be built up. And here's what pink rose looks like against my skin tone. And as you can see, even with the nail art that's on my nail, this is still really good with three coats as a full coverage glitter nail. Like you can't see that design under it. The next color that I have to share with you is called Spring Meadows. Ooh, this is a gorgeous green. Okay guys, I don't like greens like this, but spring and summer is coming and I think I'm gonna get some use out of this on myself and I think my girlfriend, well really my cousin Leticia, is gonna love this green. So this is a stunning green. I'm seeing some holographic glitters, but the base is basically a green glitter. I'm seeing some like holographic shimmer. It is so, so pretty. Now 
here we have spring meadows in one coat absolutely beautiful i love this i am not usually a green person but this one is really really pretty and this one has more of a chunky glitter compared to pink rose which more had like micro and finer glitters i love this i love that there's some chunky And here we have Spring Meadows in three coats. So as you can see, it does build really nicely, even with the chunky glitters that are in it. And usually I know with glitters that kind of have that chunky aspect, it tends to look bulky on the nail, but this actually does it. And I, and I guarantee that once top coat is applied, everything will smooth and even out. So I am loving this. Like this is such a stunning green. It's Especially for spring and summertime. And here's what Spring Meadows looks like against my skin tone. Such a stunning green. And I'm loving all the chunkies that are in there. It makes it very unique and fun. And again, you can just tell how opaque it is because you can't, you can't see the design that's on my nails through the swatch stick. Next is number 231, Pink Sweetness. Ooh, this is so girly and pretty. Like this is a Barbie pink. I'm seeing some iridescent glitters. I'm seeing some medium pink chunky glitters. I'm seeing some micro glitters. This is a really, really fun one. And here is Pink Sweetness with the first coat. As you can see, it is a very girly and delicate pink glitter, but I love it. Again, it's up to you how you want to use it. You can leave it with just one coat or you can build it up like I will. But again, you know, it's up to you. It is so, so pretty. This would have been perfect for Valentine's Day. Of course, you can get a lot of use out of this for a spring and summer but again you can also really use it for valentine's day next year and here's what pink sweetness looks like in three coats so as you can see compared to the other three it wasn't as opaque but you do get a really good glitter payoff and good glitter coverage so that's really nice too you can always use a color similar to the glitter underneath and then put this on top as well it's entirely up to you but this is such a pretty and girly pink glitter polish and here's what pink sweetness looks like against my skin tone very very pretty girly pink with really fun glitters throughout. Yes, you can see my design under it because again, this one was not as opaque as the previous two, but it is still a nice and fun glitter. So the next glitter I have to share is number 238, Royal Pink. Ooh, this is another pretty girly pink. So I'm seeing some like gold shimmer. It's a softer pink, not a Barbie pink, but maybe you could call it like a light Barbie pink. I'm seeing some micro glitters. Very, very pretty. And here's the first coat of royal pink it is so so girly and so cute i love the gold shimmer which shifts when the nail is uh, moving it's very very pretty and i love the little micro holographic glitters that are there as well such a beautiful color especially with spring and summer coming up so i'm just gonna go in and cure this and go in with a second coat because as you can see there is some sheerness but you still had a really good Cover. 
as you can see this one only needed two coats to be very opaque and it built so nicely so i'm not gonna go in with a third coat but i just love how opaque this looks and how pretty it looks with that second coat as well and here's what royal pink looks like against my skin tone for me personally i find pinks like this hard for myself to wear but i can see this looking amazing on so many people that i know would love to wear this color but for me personally i don't draw towards pink like these so i just wanted to do a quick side by side of royal pink and pink sweetness so this one is royal pink and this one is pink sweetness and i think the two of these would look so spectacular together in a full set they just complement each other so nicely the next one i have to share is called cold lake number 234 oh my goodness guys this is a beauty this is so pretty so this is like an icy blue mixture of glitter i'm seeing some chunky glitters i'm seeing some micro glitters i'm seeing some holographic glitters i'm seeing some iridescent glitters this is so beautiful this would be really good for winter as well but i can see it working for spring and summer too goodness you guys i am absolutely in love with this one there are some shards in here as well which i didn't capture when i was showing it to you guys initially but once it's on the nail you really get the true depth of this glitter polish and there's so much going on i love it so this is just the first coat i am gonna see if i can get it a bit more opaque just to see what it would look like but again you could literally just put maybe a light blue and then put this over it and it would look amazing and here we have cold lake in three coats so again this one is like pink sweetness where it isn't as opaque as compared to spring metals or pink rose, but it does have such an amazing glitter payoff. And even in three coats, it still looks so amazing. And I can see so many things being done with this. And here's what Cold Lake looks like against my skin tone. Super, super pretty. Again, yes, you can see my design under it, but even still guys such a beauty like i said you could easily go in with a color similar to this like maybe a light sky blue or even a white and then add this on top and it would look so spectacular and the second and last polish that i will be sharing with you is called coral shimmers number 239 Ooh, the name fits this perfectly so this definitely is a coral i am seeing some gold shimmer i'm seeing some micro glitters some micro holographic glitters this is such a beauty Here we have coral shimmers in the first coat such a stunning color and honestly guys it has such a good coverage so it is a bit sheer on the first coat which is expected with glitters so what i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and give this a cure then i'm just gonna come in and build it up to make it more opaque And here we have coral shimmers in three coats so again this one is a bit more see-through because it does have a jelly almost formula to it but again you get really good glitter payoff and really nice coverage 
I can so see this going over a beautiful coral and just adding some of this glitter over top. It would look so amazing. And here's what coral shimmers looks like against my skin tone. Very, very pretty. So, for example, like, if you were to put it over, like, the pink that's on my nail, it would look so amazing. Even over the yellow, it looks really pretty, too. And the last color I have to share with you from the glitters is called Emerald Breeze number 244. Ooh, this is a beauty. So, this is a clear base glitter. I'm... I'm seeing some opal glitters, I'm seeing some micro holographic glitters, I'm seeing some micro glitters. This is so, so pretty. what emerald breeze looks like in one coat honestly this is such an amazing glitter i love the chunkies that are in there i love that it's a mixture of the glitter so there's some chunkies and then some micro glitters and some medium sized ones as well again it's up to you you can leave it as one coat this one i can see is gonna be more on the sheer side in terms of when it gets built up to full opacity but I think this is going to be so amazing over so many colors. And here's what Emerald Breeze looks like against my skin tone. So this one is more of an opalescent, clear base glitter. But, but it is still so amazing and I can definitely see it being used over a wide range of colors. And here we have the seven glitters from the new 21 glitter collection that Magic Gel recently released. Honestly, guys, I am so impressed with all of these glitters that I have. I have no complaints about any of them. I really, really liked Pink Rose and Spring Meadows. I also really liked Emerald Breeze and Cold Lake. I don't too much care for coral shimmer, coral shimmer, royal pink, and pink sweetness only because those are not colors that I gravitate towards. But then again, I always have to remember it's not always about me. You know, clients are going to like what they like. It may not be what I like, but it doesn't matter all the time. But sometimes it's about me. So, yes. But all in all, honestly, if you can get your hands on these guys, make sure you head on over and do so. You will not be disappointed not one bit these are perfect for the upcoming spring and summertime quite frankly you can use them all year round like i can especially see this one um pink rose being used for christmas valentine's day christmas um st patrick's day spring summer you know you can mix and match and that's what i really really love about these and you did see that they actually built very nicely as well so let me know what are your thoughts is there a favorite from this collection is there a color that you more gravitate towards? Let me know what you think. Do you think you'll be able to grab some of these? As always, I will have everything linked down below for you guys. Please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And do make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you know anyone that would be interested in it, also go ahead and give it a share. Until next time, stay glamorous.